Good afternoon. Welcome to the Sunday and Reporters Society for you. Last of all, I mentioned is that this very moment we are walking in the second half of the house of my name. So this really is my first class because I'm not very good. This is going to be my first class in the first class in the first class in the first class in the first class. And I want to know if any of you are turned on, you know you're not returning, and you are turned on for the run, you can raise your hand when you are. So no, sir. And that's it. Well, thank you very much for the very well I'm going to be back here. I think it's very well done. Thank you. I think it's very well done. 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 Thank you very much for the contributions and the work. We appreciate that you do a lot of the work. We think about what you do and move forward. Um, we do a ton of work on the Mobility Hub, the Mobility Hub, the Smart World, the Energy Program, and so many things. And hearing from a lot of local elections and donors is really helping to get them in the perspective of the perspective that are able to do. I have worked for more than 25 years in the public sector working on housing and retiring. I'm a huge advantage in the retiring household in this year. I have worked on three regional housing needs assessment to build in a leader in the state on housing and federal resources to aid in doing the higher district assessment. Oh, thank you. 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 It's for us to see that in the future, and our comments are fast to complete. So, for me, it's for us to see that it's a fast and original plan, so we're the plan. And all of those comments, um, according to the same old data that we have in the city of different political parties, we come from five different places in the county. The first is that we've worked so hard for this region and for this city, and I am going to look you like crazy.
now we're all recognizing that there's an issue, but what do we do about it? And it's saying that you're supposed to do something about it. And what we heard from that was, you know, we should have been talking and talking to you, you know, so they can talk to each other from information and terminate that information and share that.
thought I would think about the cost of paying that in And I think that that is everything. Um, so I think it might be good to divert all the software goals out of the mainframe because there is a huge cost, even though it's not quite profitable.
We run a lot of events in the downtown, we have tourist staff, we do car shows, and electrical is a really important feature of running street festivals. Other thing we do is we try to plan for the future. So we stuck in extra time here wherever we could, um, because there's always some other need out there. And, you know, for example, um, we do an audio system for some, for some point in the future. So most of us have been in the USA for 36 years. That's the longest city in the US in the area. Safety has many benefits. Stormwater, safety cooling, um, traffic calming, and increased property value. So, one of the, the primary goals of our project was to um, improve our street, street canopy in the downtown village, downtown Manitoba. Well, we've learned that you can't just put a tree in the ground and expect it to grow. A healthy urban tree needs about a thousand cubic feet of soil. That's a lot. Um, the normal street tree well only has about 128 cubic feet of soil to tree well. So, these are normal tree wells right there, the little green that I just popped up. And what we, what we figured out is that we need to put root development areas so that the roots of the trees have a lot, much larger space to grow. So, we found a product called a flooded cell that we use in many other communities across the country right now and across the country. So that the roots, they don't just sit in the middle of the tree well, they get to go and expand and grow where they need to grow. The other thing is to give them a place to go as opposed to ripping the sidewalks up or going into businesses. We have some churches that somehow they did, they did thrive and thrive in downtown, but they were actually, the roots were penetrating kind of into the businesses, causing us um, challenges with work. Here's a picture of the tree well. You can see how big. Um, it's cancer. The builder called silver cells for structural black plastic cages, and then that was silver top there for the roots. Um, fertilized in a nice place for the roots to grow. Not only did we use that for tree root growth, but we also, also filtered our stormwater through it. So we got stormwater community credits. Um, we were able to channel from the gutter into uh, the tree root tree growth areas. Also, we were able to see these things, so it was a really good benefit for us. And it's so pretty good, they're doing really, really well, well right now. Okay, again, um, our scope of work. One of the biggest big things we can do is the ball boxing. Ball box allow for shorter crossing distances, better production visibility, and space for outdoor furniture and for sidewalk traffic. The cross. Cross box can make a grip, giving it a more organic feel, and also, in case you do have to remove it, you need to get it back in as well. And the driver has to see that they're driving over the crosswalk because the tactile minimal vibration for them. The other thing we did was reduce the road right now. We had a piece of right to stay in the Mesa and we'll keep paving over and over and over. Um, but it's just an easier, more dust-tight way of paving them. So what we did was we brought the road right now all the way down. And what we found is if we have concrete road base on the roof, which is really good. And so we lowered the sound front because, again, with the event planning the space, so it's easy to walk, wheelchairs, moms with strollers, making the, the street a more accessible place to go. Our cut ramps are really wide. We've got 10 foot wide cut ramps. Um, so you can run two strollers through them, you can run three wheelchairs through them. Um, we also have bottles. And the bottles are there because the cars don't think they drive away. It also provides um, safety for pedestrians. And these, many of our bars are removable. And we can take those removable bars and we put them into the street. So we, we just had the October set. And we took the bars from the side streets and stuck them into the sidewalk and put them into the street. It's a really good way to close the street. You can see we've got some custom bike racks. We've got a city logo in there. We have some custom bikers. And then the, the street tree vendor, the great vendor, we spent so much money with them, they actually gave us a logo for free in all of our street tree racks. The other cool feature we have is we have gateways and intersecting spring lights. These, if you don't ever been to the Bay Area, the, uh, the Bay Area, you see the displays that go across that way. We have the same light vendor as the radio out there. Ours aren't quite that fancy. But for example, on the 4th of July, we can change these to red, white, and blue. Okay. How do we take all this? 
thank you very much for staying there. Two million dollars for the program at some new stop. We have uh, parking district money, CDA funds, uh, the district's real work, the training fund, the gas tax for about a $5.8 million dollar project. So, uh, let's go on the slide. This is a before slide again. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a, yeah. Uh, this is the lookout, which is um, a little park we constructed on the the west and the east end of the street. And here's the actual part. So it's neat when it comes out pretty close to actually what we've got. That was all part of the very by the way. So here's the side of that at night. You can see the intersection of blue light. This is uh, Felix. The Felix is purchased now. So the, the story goes that um, there was a, a scientist that was up on Mount Hero. And he named and saw these trails everywhere. These trails actually still thrive in this quite a bit, as a matter of fact. But he named it the Felix of Purchase Now. And that's how we got Mount Hero, we have water districts, we have pipes here. It all seems to be filled out right here. It's actually pretty good, it's about 3,000 pounds. So here's some aftershocks. Since we finished the project, we had a whole bunch of new businesses that were open. There's a service station that used to be a gas station right here. I actually dug up one of the old gas pumps on the same sidewalk here. Thank you very much for leaving those for me. This is in Coffee Shop by Public Square. You can see a bed rest that's been utilized. The Coin House. Um, this is a, a, a coin uh, property. This is a beer pool. So there's 50 cats inside of this um, establishment. And you have a rich person. You can pour your own, you pick your own beer you want, and also, so if you say cat man, you better do the one. Very popular place. This is a new restaurant coming in called Farmer's Table. If you look at the, the fences out there right now, what they did the other week is they had they, they put in these new fence railings, and they let the public vote. And you could vote for the one on the right, or you vote for the one on the left. I was there with my son, and he took the one on the right for some reason. That, to me, that's more traditional, so I, I took the one on the right. And then, Free Smart Road. This is a old um, retail lot. It's in Baltimore, and we've got these condos, and then some commercial space for me. That will be here to be very soon, right on the next day. So, again, thank you very much. Um, one thing I want to point out is that we have a very big partnership with, with uh, the, the contractor, the great to work with, the businesses. Um, they were very patient with us. We, we communicated. We did what we said we were going to do when we said we were going to do it. And the city council, I think, did an awesome job by they were there, uh, taking me a holiday during the time of the construction. They voted to stop no parking fees um, during the entire construction process. We went guys really well received by the uh, stakeholders and really good job. So, so thanks.
one of the major concerns for controlling the access to the community center. What is the major um, concern for um, federal maintenance? Um, but we can have
So that's uh, the report from the city of Elvis and South Carolina. I mentioned that one of our council members, Mona, is here. She has a chair, and she has a chair, but our council uh, has been so supportive of Mark Rose uh, and the Starting General Plan. Uh, and I think that the U.S. has a great thing to be able to be concerned about.